Good morning, guys. It's my birthday. Happy 24 years old, Bria. Yeah, so today is my birthday. I'm not going to do anything, though. I told you I had to go sit with my grandma today, so I need to get dressed and be there by 9. Oh, Jesus. I need to, be, need to get dressed and be there by 9. So my stepdad can leave. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to work on that. I got Bailey this morning, and it's a pretty day outside. And I may, I may take myself out to eat. Nothing fancy. I love Chinese, so I just might go get some Chinese food. I'm not going to sit in the restaurant by myself, but I might get some Chinese food, and I may eat. And that's about it. I'm going to do my makeup. I tried to do my hair. I'm going to do my I'm gonna curl it when I get to my thing with some clippings this morning. So I'm going to do my hair makeup when I get to my granny's house and try to upload the little bit of vlogs that I had from yesterday. And that's about it. I don't know. I don't really have plans on wing today the rest of the way. But, yeah, I just came to say good morning to you guys, and I'll see you later. Hey, guys, I'm here at my granny's, and my brothers are here. And guess what Pooda Bear is watching? <laughs> I think he thinks it's kind of cool. You think it's kind of cool, Pooda? You think it's kind of cool? <laughs> Big D. What was that D? Half game sign. <laughs> I'm about to go downstairs so I can do some of my hair and do my makeup and then talk to Granny. So I'll see you guys later. I'm in Granny's garage right now. I was doing my makeup when I realized I didn't have no eyelash colors. So I can't put on eyelashes because I had eyelash curls. So I'm finna run to the store, right the street from my house. I had to do my makeup off camera because I knew my husband was gonna call me. So I did it while I was talking to him on his lunch break. So I'm finna go run to the store, get Granny some Cheetos, get me some eyelash curlers and some tweezers. And then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys some more. I guess y'all can ride with me. Wait. Say you wanna ride with Shouty. Mm. So, I mean, I don't know. Oh, dang. I gotta go out there. Just... I was legit about to bang out right into that garage door. Bruh. That would be bad. So, you know. Let's find some shades to put on, girl. Because it's a sunny day. Let's go with the uh, hockey. Mmm. Eel. It's like a the closest thing to her house is a Dollar General, so let's pray that I guess my eyelash curlers. But it's legit, like right up to the street. I feel like the top of this trail is showing, and we don't want that. We don't want that. Just out these short pants on no lotion. The dude gonna be looking like, man, weren't you just in here a few minutes ago? Yes, yes, I was, sir. Yes, I was. Obviously, I didn't get what I needed. Let's make sure I have my card. Okay, let's do this.
at the store, I run into my grandpa, and if I had known you were coming, Papa, I would never came. I ended up getting me this white mocha. Hopefully it's good. I, I don't. I never get it like this. I like the. Um, I don't know. I guess it's it's not frozen, but I like the other one. So we're gonna test it. But I act, I like it with extra caramel. So hopefully it's it's okay since. I don't have no caramel, but if grandma got some caramel, we gonna go get some caramel to make it better. Tragic. Taste test. Mmm, it's actually pretty good. I don't know why my sister made me taste it another time. I like a long time ago. I hated it, but. Mm. That and some chicken biscuits. I really, I never wet my hair parted down the middle. And I'm really, I'm trying to get used to different stuff. The deep side bang swoop type of girl. Oh, them chicken biscuits. No. Mm -hmm. Trash. Tired, ain't you, Ed? Tired, ain't you? You can be extra chocolate when you get through. You like candy. You probably want a bigger bag, but I ain't think about it till I left, but I'm just trying. You okay? Okay. See what the fat boys doing. Fat boy. Why you frowning? I'm frowning. You are frowning. I'm frowning. Come talk to me. I'm frowning. You are frowning. Well, if I'm left behind, I'm frowning. I'm struggling with this real for a YouTube all with you. Why? What you doing? I'm trying to get these free P P P uh P S O codes. Oh, tragic. Oh, wow, D. This rig, you know. He hooked the whole keyboard up. I got to show you. He done hooked the whole keyboard up to this game. Game like serious. Boy, what's wrong? You look like something wrong. Everybody meet my poodle. My Edmund Charles. I'm making you shame. Well, um, was you ashamed we had holler for you at your award program? You yes. was? Yes. Why are you ashamed? I, I was going to put that smack down on your teach egg, but she had to give you an award. Uh, did you? When Sherelle, that last time she hollered, it like you had got all kinds of mustard, boy. You look like, you just like, ugh. He was cringing. Well, my mind. person. Who? Mind, oh, in your mind. Yeah, yeah keep it in your mind. It's on birthday, bitch. You didn't even tell me happy birthday. I did. When I came out of it. When I said the bracelet. Oh, yeah, you did. But I know I have not seen your shoes. I didn't like this haul. I'm going to sell to the bottom. Got me some lashes on now. They fixed the swing. Yay. Well, let me sit down slowly. I hit while I wait for my brother to come take me a picture. I bought him on that track then. He riding the blue. Where you finna go? I don't know. Papa, adventures. I don't want to do trees. Climb. We used to climb through when we were little, Buddha. Yeah. 
you gotta put your foot in the middle. You can put your foot in this middle. Right there, yep. Pull up. Boy, we ain't need no help. Okay, let me see where you can go next. Once you get right there, then you can go, you put your foot right here, and you can get up in there. Get up there to the you a little monkey anyway, you know how to climb. Little monkey, go little monkey. I ain't no little monkey. Give her there in case he hurt himself. You scared, ain't you? Oh, he foot stuck, dude. Give me foot out. Oh, he panicked. Now you shouldn't be climbing. You gotta wait to Sheree so she can teach you how to climb. Get his foot out, dude. See him before he panicked. Hey, hurry up! You gotta walk it off. It's like the best player. Hop it out. 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 <laughs> Mr. Hurry. Extra. I was watching. I got uh, over. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna have my wedding right over there. It's gonna be so beautiful. Well, that's where my ceremony will be. Though. And then oh, we'll my dad's house. What is Papa doing? Driveway, you know, driveway, come back. It's like he's scared to get out there, Papa. If you're gonna get out there in the track, to get out there and stop playing. <laughs> he gonna got himself in. Hmm. When Christian come back, I wanna go paintball. Y'all gonna go? Yeah. Woo! Well, Who the yes go get it? Up the hill. Go get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in the shade. Um, he'll be back um, next uh, next Wednesday, next Tuesday, something like that. But we can't go to the weekend. Well, no, y'all out of school, but I mean, I think she's back in school, so I don't know. I thought she got out. It was summer break. Did she go back, dude? It was only two weeks. Watch my channel, too, y'all. What's your channel, dude? Shout out to the channel. Hey, where you? That ain't it. Yes, it is. What, what, what happened to the hippo? Oh, the, that's, that's my old one. I changed the name. Yeah. Look, I'm promoting my channel off her channel. You gotta host my channel first. How, how, you, you, how you get three? Th how you get seven subscribers already? It's, I pro it's probably like a course of them. What's this? Who did I ask for a balloon today? <laughs> Bam! Oh, I thought was D, don't use those bad words. That's not a bad word. It's a bad word. I want y'all to catch this because you see my youngest brother is uh, seven and I'm 24. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. She was wrong for both of y'all. <laughs> don't you are not, don't say you are a mistake. Don't say that. We can go promote my channel. I'll put channel three. Yeah. Off my game. Look at it. I'm not going to go See my face on the other one. Oh, yeah. You see the face right there. Y'all, this really not much to my life. Like, this is really it. And this, this really ain't it because I'm hardly ever out like this. But, you know, since your girl quit her job, she got time. Because usually it was work, home, bath, sleep. Oh, you eat, <laughs> boy. Please get away from me, uh, huh? Did walk with him. I gotta stay in the shade pool. My makeup gonna slide off. I want to make a reef so bad. My cousin made my grandma a reef, and it's so cute. I know it's so easy, but see how cute is that reef? I think that's so cute, and I know it was so easy. These flowers could actually work for my thingy. I can't For my um, I wanted a, a baby breath a garland for my uh for my aisle. And like those flowers could probably work because they're cute. I could spray paint them. I'm gonna ask Portia them because if Portia don't say yes, then the answer's no. <laughs> I came outside so I could have my like little Jesus time. I usually do it like in the morning when I first wake up, but this morning I didn't have time because I had to be in my grandma's house and I was trying to get everything else done. But um, I will do a workbook and like the workbook uh, makes you like look up verses 
in the Bible and stuff like that. And then I usually listen to a sermon. And right now I've been listening to um, One Church LA. That's Sarah Jake. Sarah Jake Roberts and her husband Tariq was this time to try to clear my mind and try to um, balance myself. I know that nothing is possible without God. So I'm trying to get back to a place where I can be as centered and as close to him as I can. Uh, and it's so funny because like May last year, me and my now husband, we did this, um, we did a fast so we could, um, we had a fast just to see what God wanted for us. Like we were like our relationship was getting really rocky and we wanted to know if like if that was what God wanted for us and then we were um at the point of like leaving our apartment and buying a new house and I was like, Well we're gonna fast first to see if God wants to have a house and I'm like, Well I'm gonna fast to see if God wants me want uh, to have you. So at first it was really hard because in the three years that we had been together at that point, we had never been apart from each other, never stopped talking. So it was, it was, that was really tough. And it was only for, we made a big deal. It was only for two weeks. It was a three week fast. The first week, um, we just, we fasted together and we like limited our food intake and no social media. I don't think, I, I think we still did social media. I think it was, um, we limited our food intake and we didn't eat at, eat at a certain hours. And then we spent a lot of time reading Bible, yada, yada, yada. And then in like, uh, at, the end, at the end of that first week, I was like, I need to know what God wants for me and you. So I was like, I think we shouldn't talk for the next two weeks. I think we should uh, take this time to see what God wants for us without us manipulating what each other thinking, without without us like acting off of one another. Because I'm like, you want something because I want it, and then I want something because you want it. But I'm like, I want to know what God wants for us, period. So we did that, and I learned so much. At that time, I was reading this book called Fervent. And I, I, I legit had a prayer closet. Like, I was in the prayer closet. Like, and then I cleaned out. Ouch. Wait a second, guys. I don't know. No ickies to be on me. But, okay. I cleaned out my closet. And I had a, a section where it was just like, I post, I had sticky notes all over the wall. Like, I was deep into it. Y'all, I think something crawling on me. And if it is, bro, you already know it's finna go down. But, um, yeah, and I just realized so much in that time. And, like, it was so crazy how those two weeks changed our lives. Like, we were, we were two different people when we started back talking. And it was so refreshing. It was so good to see him like that. Like, oh, my goodness. It was, it was so attractive to see him so godly and see, see him want so much and see... Like, it was just different because he prayed out loud and he prayed over us. And, like, when things got bad, like, it was just, it was good. But I ain't gonna lie, it fell off. So, here I am, back at that same point, just trying to get together again. Like, now I, I liked who I was at that point because me and my flesh, baby, I'm a beast. And, like, road rage, whoo, bruh, road rage gets me. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to get back to that really good place. So, I like to take my time. Like, and I don't, I don't do it as much as I should, but I'm, I, I hope that this motivates me to do it every single day for as long as I can. Try to get motivated, try to do the right thing, and just learn. Like, I don't, I don't know a whole lot, and this, I hate not knowing. Like, I feel like it's cute to be cute, but when you don't know nothing, especially when it comes to this Jesus stuff, like, you got to, you got to be in the know, baby. If you ain't in the know, you struggling. I know. I know. Struggling. Right here is the Armor of God. This is the workbook by Priscilla Shires. And, like, the book Fervent was by her, too. But this book, it be getting deep. You the four parts of the soul. Given the four parts of the soul, why do you think this will be a primary target of the devil? Like, it makes you really dig deep and get into your feelings and think about stuff and, like, I, this book is really hard for me, and I don't, I don't, I don't know why. It, it challenges you in other ways. Like, this is the table got bought and what I started last year. Like, bro, I was deep into it. Like, talking to Jesus, like, right now, so I'm just, like, feels me fasting for my weight, yada, yada, yada. Like, I was really, I was at that, at that point, I was really trying. And, like, I know I can get back to that. So... 
Yeah, and like the lady, Carla Cannon, check her out. Like, cause she got some, she got some, if you want to get motivated in the business aspect, like, just, just, just hit her up. I mean, like, look at her YouTube channel because it's really good. And I showed y'all this book yesterday. This is the book that Bailey chewed. I just started this book. Um, I just bought these books about a month ago. Um, I bought her two books about the Purpose Room by, uh, Heather Lynn's, and I got my husband a book by her husband. And... Yeah, this just tells her story and like this is really inspiring because you know she got pregnant at 13 so that's td jake's daughter so it's it, her bounce back was real so if you can buy that from that day you're good and then the last one is my bible i have the um the joyce meyer bible and joyce meyer is bomb like she is life and like this bible is so good because most of the time most of the times after like let me see if i can find it like after certain chapters like it'll have It'll have this little section where she like relates it to her life and you can see what you can see how what God talks about and how somebody relates to their life and it makes it easier to understand. So I really love this. This is my brother saw this cup yesterday and he was like, Brie, this is a big cup. And it's a fifty two ounce. I tried to do the whole um I try to drink a gallon of water a day, so that really helps with that. I love that cup. When I saw it in Walmart, I was like, ooh, so cute. I actually saw cuter colors in a different, uh, in, in the little city we went to, but my husband picked it up in Oxford. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. Cause like, he, and if you know my husband, he hates me with these pretty cups. But I need a present. Let me go show y'all. I wasn't expecting a present. And um, I was like, oh, somebody remember, yay. When I was doing my reading, it talked about some really good stuff. It uh, mentioned how the devil attacks you where you're like the most prominent in your life. And I was just like, why didn't I think of that? Like, I should have known that what I was the best that he was going to try to take from me. But I can, I, like, in a situation, you never get that. But, um, and it asked me a question about a certain relationship in your life. Like, we had to write down, like, the place where we were having the challenges in our life or whatever, and, like, certain relationships. And it said, well, can you, can you, um, what would be the reason that you think the devil tried to put a halt on that situation in your life? And like, why did he attack that certain relationship? And like, I never thought about it at that, from that point or whatever. I'm just type of person, just like, we ain't clicking, cool, bye. But, um, that made a lot of sense. I thought it was good. So, I encourage y'all to read books, get close to God, because, I mean, instantly, like, he fixes stuff just like that. Like, he instantly fixes it. And, I don't know. It encouraged me to like reach out to somebody so i'm gonna see i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna see how it goes and whether it works out it works out and if it don't it don't like but if, as long as i'm being obedient i'm fine with it <gasps> and yeah, i got my present i just put my little clip ins in but look at guys i got a present people remember it i'm so happy thank you <laughs> How are you going to go work out today? No, I just changed clothes. <laughs> Why you like it's been tough? You like it's been tough. My sinuses. Oh. Like you like you look back. slim. My something. Pops. Oh, yeah. You got one back? Yeah. Why well, would well, you bring this back home? Because they had you two brought hours. You brought this back home. This temptation. This foolishness. Oh, you don't have to have it. I'm going to eat it. It's in my possession now. <laughs> you can't take it back. But you. Yeah. I know. I Girl. thought I was going to walk up. Girl, yeah. Yo, I got a present. She, my sister made these little um cake pops for um she had a baby shower her job. I told her, well, since she getting creative, she's the maid of honor, so I think I need her to get on it. She swears she's not creative. She says she can't do nothing, but it's so cute. Let's see what I oh did everybody know that I needed to change my wardrobe or something? They trying to tell me something because they bought me clothes. <gasps> cute. I'm so excited. I love little stuff like this. I got two shirts. Let's see the other. Let's see the other. One looks like that. And then the one behind. I told y'all. I shop at Old Navy. Because I got this mom body going on. And look at there. I'm trying. I do. I love it. That is so cute. Oh, how cute. And I got some shorts, y'all. Cute. This is really good, girl. Let me see. Ten. I'm trying to, I'm gonna see if I can see it. 
I'm going to feed them. I'm going to put your them up. Your husband told me it was your size. Ooh, Christian. What size are these? I got some old neighbors on right now. What size are those? Oh, mm. Well, Tag ain't back here. Oh, tragic. I don't know what Tag is, but it should be. But this is really cute. That's really cute, though. That looks really spring. I like that I said. Y'all trying to tell something because my mom got some clothes, too. Really cute clothes. I'm really, I like, I was you. I was running low. She got me some dresses, and uh, she got me a skirt. I know, I said I was running low. I'm like, y'all just that revamp the girl. <laughs> I don't even expect no gifts today. Where did you get that shirt from? You got on. Oh, Navy. <laughs> it's actually too big, but I'm just like, whatever. So. How sweet was that? I'm so excited. I got gifts. I wasn't expecting any gifts. <gasps> She's getting even better. I told myself, Um, I was talking to myself. Not talking. You know, thinking in my head, talking to myself. But. I was like, I really don't want to want anything no more. Like, I want to get to the point where I don't want stuff. Like, it's it's such a blessing to just be alive and to just be here. And, like, like to have the type of family that I have. Like, when I tell y'all, my family is everything. Like, they are everything. And, like, just to be around to experience them. Like, you can't put a price on that type of love. Like, and the people I'm around, like, the life that I have, like, I'm so blessed. And, like, I'm only 23, but I'm a homeowner. Like, I finished a part of college. Like, I'm, I'm married. Like, those things are just falling into place right along, especially in this generation. Like, you know how hard it is to find a faithful man, baby. But I was happy that we were together before all this foolishness started because when I say it's hard out here for some of y'all, baby. But, yeah, I'm I'm just real content right now. Like, I'm just, it, it, it feels so much better getting things when you're not really expecting nothing, when you're really at a point where you're just like, what the hey? But, that was really sweet, and I'm so thankful. I got some new clothes, and... Mm, 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 mm. Really excited. I'm going to try this little cake pop. It has an Oreo inside. How cute is it? I don't even want to eat it because it's so cute. Mmm. Mmm. This double star. Ooh. That's a lot of sweet. I feel like it's going to hurt my teeth. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 I'm scared to do it. Oh my god, you want a piece of mine? Yeah. It's real sweet. Go get a knife and cut this out. Thank you, cut. Amy's hey, just a foodie. <laughs> Y'all can get tired of me doing that, but I'm real self conscious. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't be like, I'm already. <laughs> Shreya gonna bring two of them and then gonna let him get that big old thing and he ain't gonna eat it. That thing real sweet. <coughs> he did use it. <coughs> That's a cool <coughs> It's double stuff. Mm -hmm. she, she let me try two of them. Get two of them? There ain't no way you ate two of these things. Yep. I'm scared it's gonna hurt my teeth. Yeah. Mm. Animal crackers. Yeah, I That's really good. That's really sweet. Them double stuff Oreos. Yeah. You yeah. double wrong for that. You ate them for a regular Oreo. Do you know you do you know what you did to some people? You know how how, how they sugar spike when they got that that double stuff Oreo. One person got three. One person got three. Yeah. One person got three. I'm that was good. She dead wrong, baby. She don't. She can handle this for the rest of the month. She can use all her carbs up. Golly. I ain't trying one yet. Let me try the bottom one. It's good. You ain't trying one. I had double one. stuff. Ooh. You can eat them in pieces. Like, if you crumble that up, you can eat it like that. Because at once, she was dead wrong for that. <laughs> he threw them like that one time. Woo. Right now, I'm hitting to go get Bailey, my mom. Because I think it's going to take way longer than I wanted to for this video to upload at my grandma's house. And I was just sitting outside. So I'm like, okay, she can come here. She can play with us outside while I'm outside. Because it may be like an extra two hours. And it's already 640. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that.
go outside and get active. I mean, when, I, when I go get Bailey, you can run around with her. Listen, playing the game drains your time, drains your soul. So maybe you should spend so much time playing it. Like when I was young, in the summer, we went outside, got some sunlight, some vitamin D. Some vitamin D. All day long, salt the sun down. We really did play outside all the time. Like all day long. I can get vitamin D by drinking some water. See, that's what I'm talking about. This generation. This is what I'm talking about right there. That's what I mean. This generation. I ain't a part of this generation. You just say you can get some sun, some vitamin D with orange juice. You can get a whole bunch of carbs and calories and sugar too. Diabetes too. How about that? Well, I could not get that video up. The end of my house was so slow. I I started trying to upload it around 5.30 and I left at 8.30 and it was only on 37%. So that was a no-go. So in the morning, I'm going to get up really early and try to go uh, back to the Starbucks and get it done. Oh, no. And try to get it done. But it's about 9 o'clock right now. Me and Bailey got back, just got back home. I handled that business. Like, y'all, when I say, like, when I'm telling y'all, if God tells them to do something, like, go ahead and do it and get it done with because I handled that little business and it turned out so much better than I expected. Like, I'm just so thankful that God is teaching me to be obedient to what I'm hearing. And, like, I'm just, bl I'm, I'm blessed to be able to do that because some people can't even get up and do what he tells them to do. So, I'm so thankful that I did that. So, my my birthday has, like, got capped off pretty good. Like, well, I hate that I say, like, so much. But I got a couple of presents. Um, I kind of mended some relationships. So, Bailey, stop. No, ma'am. She's so bad. Um, I'm just going to wash my face, um, get in the shower, talk to my husband until I go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning.